What's going on? Why y'all so fucking dead? Is it a funeral on this bitch? God damn it, give me some fucking props. My fat ass walked up here, I only burned eight calories coming from the back. Fuck y'all, we gotta... Shit. Hey, I ain't gonna stay up here long, cause I know we don't get to y'all real headliners and all that. I just got a couple questions. Uh, Indianapolis, are y'all all right? Y'all good? Uh, y'all need a hug or a therapist or some shit. Uh, What's going on? I heard y'all got judges shooting each other in parking lots and shit. And <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, the church is up there and motherfucking Emerson ain't had the ice machine working since 2016. This is some bullshit. They serving hot pop and cold chicken. What the fuck is going on here in Indianapolis? Y'all got more potholes than y'all got people. This is some bullshit. I hit a pothole on 38th Street. That pothole takes Section 8. It's that goddamn big. It's a fucking moving truck out front of the pothole. What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on in Indianapolis, man? And then when y'all did the protest, they acted a fool, didn't they? I heard them niggas took a horse. Didn't y'all take a horse from the cops or some shit? They found the horse at the pawn shop. What the fuck was that? <laughs> shit. Y'all stole the toy train, drove that motherfucker down the street. God damn it, how y'all gonna steal the train? Y'all know that's what R. Kelly used to pick up his dates. What the fuck y'all? Oh, too soon? Too soon? My bad. Y'all know. R. Kelly, man, as fuck that he locked up because he was planning to, uh, to be the Easter bunny at the mall. <laughs> the Easter egg hunt was in his pants, little punk motherfucker. Was... He the only Easter bunny make the kids sit facing him when they sit on his lap and shit. This nigga. <laughs> oh, my man. It ain't me. I'm not fucking with the kids. It's that nigga. <laughs> I'm still getting used to everybody having to perform with these masks and shit. The good thing is, it's protecting me from some of these bad breath motherfuckers. This is, hey, if you got bad breath, your man should say some shit that this, we want to avoid, like Donald Trump, or <laughs> your man should say child support. Some other shit niggas run from, just how to. <laughs> my bad, y'all gonna hate my fat ass in a minute, this guy. <laughs> uh, like I say, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a thug at heart, child, so this man shit ain't that bad, because here's how it worked out for me. I went into this place the other day, and they said, sir, you gotta have a mask on. So I came back in with a ski mask and robbed everybody in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> my dumb ass only got $8. Uh, my fat ass robbed a Planet Fitness. Ain't nobody got no money on the treadmill. This is some bullshit. <laughs> my fat ass went to the gym, I would know. <laughs> I'm in there robbing these motherfuckers, but I'm out of breath and shit. They don't know if they're gonna want to give me money or CPR in this motherfucker. This is... <laughs> they formed a circle around my ass going kumbaya. They sent me out of there with encouragement and shit. This was. <laughs> God damn it. I caught myself trying to go to the gym, keep it real. I walked in the gym and my shoes caught the police on me. God damn it. They said, Not today. Not today. <laughs> They gonna kick me out the gym talking about I was damaging the machines and shit. That was, but uh, I think they got mad because when I signed out the treadmill, I laid down and went to sleep on that motherfucker. It was, fuck y'all, this is my 15 minutes. Mind your business. Mind your business. They mad as fuck about that treadmill. They gonna be super pissed when they find that box of chicken in the shower, goddammit. It was, <laughs> well, you can figure out how to eat in the shower, nigga. You winning, you know what I'm talking about? You, I didn't get fat on accident. It's a strategy to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <Ugh. laughs> you are a winner. They kicked my fat ass out with this cool. I went next door to Krispy Kreme. They got my picture on the wall up there, nigga. It was great. I go where I'm celebrating. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I ain't the only person in here been kicked out some shit before. We all black folks. Everybody been kicked out some shit, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's what's fucked up. I got kicked out of a Chinese buffet one time. God damn it. That was. <laughs> They came up like, no more! Nothing for you! No more! Y'all wanna know what was fucked up? I was in the parking lot. I ain't even made it in the building yet. God damn it. Was... Shit! You know you fat when you Google a restaurant and they text you back like, don't come, nigga. That's <laughs> fucked. That's... <laughs> you know shit, nigga. My, my phone even know I'm fat, my nigga. When I pull up a restaurant, my phone go right to group sales and shit. Like, just... <laughs> That's a joke grenade, y'all get that one on the way home. Y'all <laughs> will get that on the way home. 
<laughs> we done all got kicked out some shit before. Hell, I got kicked out my mama house, my baby mama house, and a moving car all on the same night. This was, <laughs> yeah, it was fucked up. It was fucked up. But I got her back though. I got back in my baby mama house and put some baby oil on the floor and some marbles. Set up a camera and watch this bitch get a concussion on Facebook Live. It was awesome. It was. <laughs> I wish this was a joke, goddammit. I wish. Because <laughs> here's the fucked up part. Um, yep, I got arrested and shit. I got arrested. That little breaking and entering thing. Uh, you know, first fat burglar, I guess, instead of a cat burglar. I don't know how they put it down in the report. Fuck you, niggas. Uh, all I know is when they came in, I had a donut in my hand and I wasn't letting it go when they handcuffed me, so we had a struggle. <laughs> Resisting the Krispy Kreme, boo, don't. I might be the next nigga shot, real talk, don't just. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. <laughs> my bad, this nigga looking at me like I need prayer. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> so, uh, let me say this to y'all. Uh, sometimes you realize in life, that you maybe got some shit you need to do better at, right? I just realized not too long ago a little situation I had that I'm a real fucked up friend. I ain't a good friend. Um, I got a homie here that I did some dirty shit to and I'm gonna apologize to that nigga in front of everybody. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, so we was at this club in Atlanta, right? We just got done doing a show. You know what I'm saying? We sitting there at the bar. This nigga drunk, he said, hey, I gotta use the bathroom. The nigga go in the bathroom, and the next thing y'all know, I hear screams like the nigga just killed somebody. Y'all know what happened? This drunk nigga zipped his dick up in his pants, goddammit. This shit. Now, hold on. So my homie got his dick zipped up in the pants, bouncing around the motherfucking bathroom in pain. He hit his head on the wall and fell down. So let me paint the scenario. Uh, we are in a bathroom in Atlanta, Georgia. He is laying on the floor with his dick out. At that moment, I realized I'm not a good friend. I'm gonna go and get this over and wish this nigga the best. <laughs> what the, the fuck can I do for you? I mean, this is, so I, I want to apologize. Hey, Daryl, I ain't mean to do that to you, nigga. Just, <laughs> I ain't mean, man. That's my nigga. Realize I'm a bad friend. Shit, Atlanta all around is crazy. How many of y'all been to Atlanta before? Y'all know, hey, it's like the crane game in Atlanta. Hey, that fine ass broad is also the starting point guard for the Hawks. Nigga, y'all gotta. <laughs> shit. Hey, <laughs> fuck that. Shit. So I get to travel a lot, man. So I, when I was in Atlanta one time, waiting on the. Uh, I had an eight hour layover right on the flight. So I caught myself going to get my hair cut. I went to the nearest barber shop. I go in, I sit down, and the barber just come over and start rubbing all on my head, massaging all on my head and shit. <laughs> And I got concerned because I wasn't even in the barber chair yet. Nigga, if you don't get the fuck off, uh, <laughs> fuck off me. <laughs> now, I can't say this for everybody else. This is just me. My barber got to be five, six and under. Can't handle tall barber. Because I'm not going to have some nigga with his dick on my shoulder while he's shaping me up. Fuck y'all. <laughs> this is some bullshit. You know what I'm talking about, goddammit. Fuck that. I need midget barbers. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with gay people, I ain't got no, but if your requirement is to have your dick on my shoulder to cut my hair, fuck you, I'm growing dreads. You kiss my ass <laughs> on that one. <laughs> or I will cut my hair with some jagged glass in a dark alley, but goddammit, y'all not. <laughs> I, I need something other than that. Shit. Well, I ain't gonna lie, Indianapolis, I was glad to be able to get up here and uh, hang out with y'all for a little bit. Uh, before I get out of here in a minute, Couple of announcements. Um, blessed to have a deal for a comedy album that I got to do towards the end of the year. Thank you. Um, and more importantly, I have been blessed uh, from a company in Florida that will be doing a Netflix special. Um, thank you. So the deal I signed is going to make them film it in three cities, and Indianapolis is going to be one of them. So I hope y'all will come out when we get ready to do that. Appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here, man. I'll probably order me some DoorDash and go back to the hotel or something. I'm hungry two hostages in this bitch. Uh, anybody else in here do DoorDash, goddammit? Do you? Hey, let me tell you, I got a homie that said he got more pussy doing DoorDash than he did in college. He said all these chicks couldn't cook and they could do a lot of shit for a Klondike bar. I said, nigga, I am starting Monday. Fuck y'all, this is... <laughs> I wish this was a joke. I got an uncle that just got out the pen, right? 
This nigga thought DoorDash was a way to get his homies out and shit. <laughs> this nigga, then he started ordering breaks and shit. And my bad, the jail people to get that one. Don't nobody else y'all know the break. Got you. I'm a got you. We're in the GED room and shit. They don't know no jail jokes. No jail jokes. Got you. Got you. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here and get my ass back to the hotel. Huh? Y'all in a good mood tonight? Good man. Good, good, good. Uh, I want to say something real quick. Come on up here, right? Sisters, give yourselves a round of applause. Sisters, with all this shit that's going on in the world right now, I love y'all. Be strong and be safe out there. Don't let this bullshit weigh you down. We're going through a lot of shit together. And I know right now a lot of y'all feel like we ain't there for y'all, but we trying. We trying. So all I'm going to say to y'all is don't let them forget Brianna's name. Do you hear me? Let's, let's ride and let's do what we got to do. Make sure that everybody understands. But black women, y'all are golden. Y'all are gems. Y'all are valued. Please walk and keep your head up like that. All right? Good. You know, I only say that because I'm really trying to get some ass in the parking lot, but if y'all... Uh... <laughs> oh, shit, my bad. I was just trying to... My bad. Was that too soon? And shit? I ain't, I ain't fucking with Aisha. I got a feeling she'll get you naked and rob your ass, nigga. This is... Don't y'all... Have you been over regular week? She got a tattoo of a lug wrench on her chest. I mean, she can fight, nigga. That lug wrench. <laughs> oh, nigga. She's snatching off wigs and beating bitches. I'm not <laughs> fucking with Aisha. No more. You just tell jokes. My bad. My bad. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Like I said, y'all in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. I want to go back to the hotel, get some freaky shit going on. Anybody else in a freaky mood tonight? Yeah, I can have some of that freak shit. Y'all ain't. Y'all give a fuck. We have a church. Some of that freaky shit. I'm talking about some of that sweaty grabbing the sheet sex. Y'all know what I'm talking about? That. Y'all don't, and hopefully uh, tonight somebody gonna be there with me. Uh, that'll, yeah. <laughs> That's another joke, Renee. Y'all get that on the way home. Hey, my name is AJ. Y'all be safe. <laughs>